We're learning how to find the angle in a right angle triangle using trig. And to be successful, you need to be able to demonstrate questions where a given triangle has given sides, but you have to find an unknown angle. So let's have a look at our situation here, a straightforward one. We've got the blue triangle here, and I'm going to say to you that this is right angle. Okay, so we know it's right angle, and we know that one side is 5 meters and 13 meters. It might be something like the frame of a wall or something. So, all right, we've got to find the angle. Well, when we go about this, we don't do anything too different to what we're used to. If we were doing this question normally, we would go, well, we start at the angle. Okay, there's our angle, theta. It's the only difference instead of a given number, it's just a symbol. But anyway, in general, we start at the angle and we look at what sides we've got in labeled in the question. What are involved here? Well, we've got an adjacent. We've also got a hypotenuse. It's the longer side opposite the right angle. Think about our trig ratios. Some old hippies can't always hide their old age or sokatoa, which we've seen before. We've got A and H, so that would be this one here. So, so we've got cos. Cos, well, we'll have to call it theta because we don't know its value, so we'll call it by its name. Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we can go cos theta. We can substitute the numbers in. So we've got adjacent is 5 and the hypotenuse is 13. So we've subbed the numbers in. But right here is where things are different. We, it's not a matter of multiplying or dividing right here. We have to look at something new. Now if we take a little aside here, we know that in maths we have things that are opposites or inverses. So the inverse of times is divide. The inverse of plus is minus. What we need to do is get this angle by itself, theta. We have to take the inverse of cosine. So that's got a special name. It's called inverse cosine. Now we write that with a little symbol, a little raised superscript symbol, negative 1. So we call that the inverse cosine or inverse cos for short. And that can be found on your calculator. On this calculator we can see that this button here that is inverse cos. Now it depends on which calculator you use. If you use a proper calculator it might have one of these symbols on it instead. Depending on the calculator, if you've got a, a green TI for example, it'll be hit the second button, second function, and hit cos and it'll trigger inverse cos. You'll see it come up on the screen. Some other brands have a button called inverse. You hit that first along with cos second and it'll trigger inverse cos and some older calculators have shift and cos those two keys together again that will trigger inverse cos if it's a PC there's just an inverse cos button there so notice we have to take the inverse cos of cos to undo it that's what an inverse operation is just like to undo a plus 4 we have to minus 4 so we have to inverse cos both sides, and you can see that underlined in yellow. I'm inverse cosing the left. So if you go from the line above down to there, I put an inverse cos. But you have to do it to the right. What you do to the left, you have to do to the right. The good thing about that is that the cos and the inverse cos undo each other. And what we want is the theta, the angle, is left by itself. And that is good because that's what we want. This right hand side, we put this all into your calculator carefully. If you're using a proper calculator, it'll be much easier. The PC laptop calculators are a bit ick with this, so you'll have to be a lot more careful. Use the use brackets 
but always use the brackets, otherwise you might get the answer wrong. So you go inverse cos 5 on 13. If you enter that into your calculator to one decimal place, that's usually enough for angles because one degree is small, you get 67.4 degrees. And so we can say that the angle theta is 67.4. So I've just put the degree symbol on there. So that angle that we were looking for, we know what that is now. So just recapping, we always start the same way. We look at which one it is out of Sokotoa. We found out in this one it was cos. We, we still write the expression out. Okay, you can always do this starting at the same thing. Write your expression out. Substitute your numbers in. The new thing is we have to find inverse cos or inverse sine or inverse tan. So it might also be inverse sine or inverse tan. And then we have to undo both sides with the inverse. Remember your calculator keys and we get our answer. Try a few.